Spider bites can vary in their level of harm, ranging from minor to potentially serious. While most spider bites are not harmful, certain types, including those from brown recluses, black widows, and tarantulas, can cause toxic reactions or even death in some cases. Let's start with the bites from the brown recluse spiders. The southern United States is home to many of these poisonous spiders. Their bites can leave a painful sore that can turn into a dark region of skin that is necrotic. When the bite is severe, infection and even death can result. Ice should be applied to the bite site immediately and as needed to inhibit enzyme activity and stop tissue necrosis. Topical medicines and antiseptics may be required if the bite becomes infected. Moving on to black widow spiders, another venomous species found in various regions around the world. Their bites can cause pain, muscle cramping, and spasms, with potentially fatal outcomes in severe cases. Necrosis at the bite site is possible, but not as common compared to the brown recluse bite. Immediate application of ice to the bite area can help counteract the effects of the neurotoxin. In some instances, system toxicity may occur, necessitating supportive therapy in a hospital setting. If you're finding value in this video, then please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And check out the link in the description to purchase an instant digital download of the integumentary system in Disorders Notes, which includes the spider bites concepts reviewed in this video. Lastly, let's discuss tarantulas. Their bites can cause swelling, redness, numbness, lymph nodes inflammation, and pain at the bite site. Tarantulas also possess barbed hairs that they can release, which can penetrate the victim's skin and eyes leading to a severe inflammatory reaction. Use sticky tape and thoroughly irrigate the affected area to remove barbed hairs immediately. If the eyes are exposed, saline irrigation should be performed. Elevating and immobilizing the affected limb can help alleviate pain and reduce swelling. Depending on the severity, treatment options may include prescribing antihistamines, topical or systemic corticosteroids, and administering tetanus prophylaxis if necessary. Patients must be given guidance on how to avoid being bitten by spiders. Preventative measures include wearing appropriate protective clothing like long sleeves and pants when outdoors, using insect repellent, and maintaining a clean and clutter-free home environment. Learn about the symptoms and warning signs of the different kinds of spider bites. It's essential to provide the proper care and interventions for patients bitten by spiders. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.